everyone welcome back if you're new here I'm Katie and today I'm doing a book review on The Love Script by Tony Shiloh. So if you are new here and don't know it, Tony Shiloh is one of my absolute in the top three favorite authors of all time. I just I love her stories, I love her characters, I love her faith content. It's just a, all of her stories I have not given under four stars, so you know that they're gonna be really good because I try to be pretty, pretty accurate with my star ratings. So this one follows Navea and Lamont, and let me just tell you, when Tony puts faith on her pages, it's not on the pages. The faith is part of the characters' lives, and I just, I love that. You can definitely tell that she puts a lot of thought and a lot of time and effort into her books. So, as I said, Nevea is a hairstylist, and her dream is to become kind of like the hairstylist for the stars. She wants to work on a set as a hairstylist, but for now she works at a salon, and she also works for Lamont, Lamont's mom, who has hired her to take care of her hair because his mom had cancer, she's doing better now and it's all gone, but Nevea still makes appointments with her to have her hair done. So one day, uh, Nevea decides to make L Lamont's mom soup because she isn't feeling well. So Lamont kind of sees her in the kitchen. They really haven't really talked that much since he hired her like a year ago for his mom. And so they're just kind of not even really friends, they're really more strangers. But as he's helping her after she makes the soup and helps her to her car outside because she has a big makeup case, it's heavy, and so he helps her outside, but she ends up tripping and falling into his arms. Well, lo and behold, there is a paparazzi man in the trees near his house and takes a picture of Lamont and Nevea. And Lamont is the SMA, sexiest man alive in Hollywood in this book, and so he is a brand new Christian. He's only been a Christian for, I think, five years. And so he is really trying hard to show a good lifestyle for anybody, not even just Christian, but just a good lifestyle and show his Christian values to others. And so having that photo out there in the public, people are saying, is he devaluing his Christian values? Is he is something going on between him and Nevea? They don't know Nevea, who she is yet, because it's just a picture. But people are starting to think that he's either no longer a Christian or he's doing things that a Christian shouldn't do. And so he works along with his agent and says, we've got to figure something out because his his jobs are at stake with his movie businesses or his movies that he's in, as well as like commercials and products that he endorses because they endorse in him because he's a Christian and because of his like kind of clean cut living and lifestyle. And so he can't really have that because yeah, the picture was taken at his house. She's in his arms, even though she tripped. But so his agent says, why not fake date? And he goes, he's very strongly against that because he's like, I don't want to fake date. Fake date is lying. <laughs> and I don't want to show that to my public. So he and Nevaeh pray about it, they get back together, they talk about it, and so they end up deciding to go ahead and date, but date for real. So they're really going to date, they're really going to get to know each other because they don't want to lie. Even though it's still kind of a lie because they didn't know each other before that picture, but they decide to date for real, and at the end of like three months, you know, if they're not compatible or, you know, what he wants really is more of a friend at that point. So he goes, you know, we can break off after three months. And so fake dating will kind of bring that image um, more like they're, they're saying, you know, they are both waiting until marriage. So that's where their fake dating is kind of going. They tell everybody that they're waiting for marriage. There's nothing in between them that is not a godly relationship. And so they decide to do that. And I just feel so bad for Nevea throughout this entire book. She has so many problems going on with the paparazzi her supposed friend and roommate is pretty much garbage to her um and just a lot of things go wrong with her job because all the paparazzi and all the fans want to meet the girl who has captured Lamont's heart and so 
just this poor girl. I mean, Lamont had really nothing going wrong with him pretty much. I mean, he had some things, but like not, not compared to poor Nevea here. But yeah, so I also really loved, I wanted to mention how Tony really, like her faith stories are so relatable. And this one I felt it was really relatable because Lamont is very strong in his faith. He's new to his faith. And Nevea, she's been a Christian most of her life. But she decided not to go back to her parents' church because she felt like it was very um, to the point, too many rules and stuff like that. And so she ended up during college, she went to a whole bunch of churches. Nothing fit her way of her faith. Like, to me, Nevaeh really had that kind of cosmetic look of what a church should be and she had that set in her mind she was like she went to churches and she was like there was not enough black people that she, that she didn't like the music there was always something wrong with the churches that she went to and I love how her faith grew stronger throughout the book and she's finally realizing that the cosmetic look of a church is not the reason you go to church so I just I love that I think she did a really great job with that love the characters I honestly think I think the I think Nevaeh would be my favorite character in the book because she's very relatable. She had a lot of hard struggles, the poor girl, during all this time fake dating Lamont. And I just, I love them both. I thought they were really great characters. This is the first book in the A Love in the Spotlight series. So the second book is going to be about one of the other side characters, which I'm really excited about. That one comes out next year, so I cannot wait. So make sure to check this book out. I think you're really going to love it. If you love sweet contemporary romances that are in the spotlight of Hollywood. I think you're going to really enjoy this. So thank you to Tony Shiloh. I am on her launch team for this. So I'm so happy that I was able to be on, on her launch team. And I just, I really enjoyed it. Cannot wait to read the sequel. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video.